Tech brothers, in this video, we're going to answer a question. And the question is, you want to know if SQL services restarted or stopped via email. How would you accomplish that? Well, you can set up alert uh, to uh, uh, to to monitor the services, SQL Server services. Anytime SQL Server uh, services restarted or stopped, it'll send you an email. And setting up alert, there are a couple ways that you can do. Well, actually, there are more ways that you can do. Uh, first of all, a lot of organizations use third-party tools uh, in order to monitor system health. And uh, any any tool that monitors system health will include uh, the monitoring of services, not just the SQL Server, but all other services. Uh, in, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at two ways. One is using um, Windows uh, operating system alerts. And the second uh, we're going to do is uh, SQL Server agent alerts. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the Windows alert real quick and then we're going to get into SQL Server agent alert. I, I, I prefer Windows alerts because um, SQL Server agent alert, let's say if agent is down, you're not going to get any alert. So that's why I prefer um, operating system alert if I don't have any other third party tools. So let's, uh, uh, this is my server where um, I'm, I'm in where my SQL Server is installed. All the services of SQL Server is running on this system. What I did was went in administrative tools and what we're going to look at is performance monitor. Again, you can uh, um, uh, do in a different way. You can monitor the SQL services in different way and send you alert. But basic idea is that uh, it should send you alert. Uh, it should send you an email. And when you configure alerts, then you can send an email from there. But I'm going to quickly show you up here performance mo monitor here there is a tab called data collector set so we're gonna click on uh, user defined tab right click new and we're gonna create a new data collector set so this is my new data collector set I'm going to click on create manually and click advance and from here we're gonna uh, uh, select performance counter uh, uh, or event trace data or system configuration uh, information I'm, I'm trying to say uh, you know it's just not about SQL server any alert you can set up on a performance monitor tab so what we're gonna do is event trace data because when SQL server services stops or restart it's an event it gets logged in Windows log so we want to somehow read that and we see that the keyword is SQL server services restarted or stopped we want to capture that uh, particular trace and send a bit, uh, send alert based on that. So we're going to go ahead and click on event trace next. We're going to go ahead and add. It's going to add all the event trace if you have SQL Server already installed. Uh, I'm going to click on S um, and need to find SQL Server. Right here is SQL Server. You're going to click OK. And uh, right now the filter is uh, disabled. You can go ahead and enable the filter and put uh, stopped stopped and then enter started um, and you can put a SQL server uh, dot exe uh, um, as well so this is how you can set up uh, uh, different alerts in uh, operating so I just wanted to show you quickly I'm not going to actually set it up but uh, let me show you quickly on the uh, management studio if you go on a SQL server agent you will look at alerts and uh, some of the alerts are by default alerts are here but uh, we're gonna go ahead and create new alert and here you can give the name of the alert and it's a SQL Server event alert uh, and uh, up here uh, there is a user defined alert you can read the log and uh, do the same thing but there are other SQL Server related alerts I would recommend you that you go and look at each one of them uh, and anytime the services um, uh, goes down or stops it should be a critical alert so put the severity especially for production one uh, something like that and up here uh, is the response uh, you can set up an ex execute job where you can uh, uh, write a script to send an email to a particular operator or you can set up a operator in here and uh, choose uh, from here if you have a, a operator you can set up all that uh, up here so here is the options option include email pager net send so if you wanted to send especially in this question if you wanted to send an email you need to click on email and provide 
the information so these are uh, a couple quick ways that you could do it but uh, again uh, I'm gonna say that most of the organization uses third-party tools to look at the to monitor the servers uh, uh, any servers uh, health which include the services as well so I hope uh, um, this demonstration help uh, to understand more about monitoring uh, any server not just the SQL server